I would show this little tip to you. This is potatoes. They needed healed a week ago and it's just been raining like crazy. But whenever you heal potatoes, you don't have to have them standing upright. You can heal them over onto their sides as long as you don't break the stems. And then what I'll do, I'll wait a couple of days. It's actually supposed to rain again uh, tonight or tomorrow morning. So once it dries out again, I'll come down here again with my little electric tiller. I'll run right down next to them. I'll take that dirt, pull them up over on the sides. And then what I do is I alternate back and forth. So this time I'm pulling the dirt from this side. And the next time I'll do it too, just because they got so big. And then as they start to grow out, so I'll, when I heal them the second time, it'll be just the top of leaves sticking out of the ground. Then when I heal them the second time, I'll come down through here on this side and I'll pull the dirt over from this way. What's going to happen is I've actually got some peas and you can't hardly see them because of all the weeds. I got some peas and carrots here. But I'll be able to get down through where the carrots are at. But then there's a spare spot right here that don't have anything growing. And I'll till that up and pull that soil the other way. So right now the plants came up. Now they're laying over on their side. They'll grow a little bit. I'll hill them again. They'll go this way. I'll hill them again. They'll grow a little bit. So you're kind of zigzagging them. They don't have to stand clear up. I mean, there's only so much soil in a garden. <laughs> and if you want to make the mess, the best of it, it's better off to hill them so that they fall over on their sides and then just zigzag it as they grow and just keep them falling over on their sides. If you alternate back and forth, they'll do fine. Now, one thing I could do, I could go down through here and straighten them up and have them all run the length of the rows. But then it gets kind of crowded and it gets kind of hard to control. And I've just found that zigzagging it works about the best way. Uh, especially if you're growing in a small garden and you don't have a lot of space and you want to reduce the amount of space that these potatoes take up. Zigzag when you heal them. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this tip. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.